we're going to be looking at some of the basics of Prezi. So if you log into Prezi.com, you can click on Create New Prezi at the left. And this will allow us to add a title, a short description, and choose from a selection of styles. Then click Create. And we have our new Prezi. If we click on Open, that will load the stage and allow us to edit the Prezi. So you can see that our style's already been applied. We've got that blue background with the gradient. And if I double click on the existing text, I can add my title. And these are my three font options that are available with this style. Each style comes with three different fonts. So if you'd like to use a font that's outside of what Prezi has installed, you'll actually have to save your text as an image and upload that individually. So I can change my font just by clicking on the option and click OK. If I want to use um, Prezi to add some extra text, I can just double click anywhere on stage and you'll see this text box appears. Okay. Once I have items, items on stage, I can just click on them and you'll see this zebra show up. This is what they call it, the Prezi zebra. And it takes a little bit of time to get used to, but it's really helpful once, once you're used to navigating it. If you click the center of the zebra, it will allow you to rearrange things on your stage. If you click in the middle and you pull out, you can resize to a larger size. And if you push in, you can make the item smaller. And if you use the outer part of the zebra, you can rotate your items on the stage. You can also insert different types of items. So if you come over here, this is kind of like our toolbar. We can click on Load File, and that will allow you to insert items from your computer. Prezi actually allows you to upload images, audio, and video files. So I'm just going to drop three different images in here for now. go along with our text. And the same thing applies to these. I can just click on them and use my Prezi Zebra to resize, rotate, and move them around on the stage. And that zebra will work the same whether you input um, an image or a movie. It works for any element on the stage. Okay, so frames. If I want to add a frame, all I have to do is select the type of frame that I want and just draw a box around the items I'd like to frame on stage. You can see it'll just appear. Let's just try a circle frame. And basically what these do are it just gives you a visual reference so that you can see that these things belong together. And I'll show you how that works when we use our path. Our path is what's going to tell Prezi how to navigate our presentation so that it's not just all one big collage. So if I click on path, I can go to add, and I'll say I want to start with my title, and then I'd like to look at the main idea of Glogster. So I'm going to click on this frame, so we look at everything here. And then maybe I'd like to zoom into the, the title of Glogster and then look at the icon. I'm going to do the same thing with Wix. I'm going to look at the main idea and then come over to the title and the icon. And I'll do the same thing with Prezi. So now Prezi knows exactly how to navigate all of this collage that I've just created. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at it by clicking on Show and that'll give us our navigation icons. So we can start here with our title, main idea, Glogster, and the icon. And that's how it's going to navigate. You can always go back in and change your path later. And you can also change your theme. So if I've designed this and I decide that I want a different kind of look, all I have to do is come over and click on colors, and I can choose a brand new theme. 
and you'll see that the fonts change along with the color scheme to align with the new theme that I've selected. These are just the basics of Prezi and there's a lot that you can do. I would suggest going out and looking at the gallery um, to get some really great ideas, but just be creative and see what you can come up with.